Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Tonight I thought I would try a little something different for supper. I saw a lot of recipes like this floating around. Thought I'd give it a try. So we're going to make little tiny hamburgers. I guess like we have crystals down here. and They have the little square burgers. So I bought me some yeast rolls. Should have made some but this was easier. And um, so the size pan that you need is really going to be about the size pan of your rolls that you have. I know that's a little bit bigger, but it's all right. I've got some ground beef that I'm going to put in here, and it will shrink up anyway. So I have my pan lined with foil. You don't have to do that. I have a little over two pounds of ground beef. I don't know if I want to need that much, but we're going to spread it out in the pan and bake it till it gets done. Let's see. I'm going to take out a little bit of it. Kind of go from there. Let me kind of mush it up just a little bit. These gloves are horrible. <laughs> they don't want to stay on. Yeah, I might need the whole two pounds. All right, let me get this kind of mushed up so it will stick together better, and then I'll be back. All right, I sprayed my hands with some cooking spray. Now, you can go ahead and season up your meat now, but I'm just going to put some salt and pepper on top of it. Nothing fancy. And we're just going to press it out. Going to be thin hamburgers. So just press it all out in your pan. I have my oven preheating and it's ready. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. So let me get it all patted out and then I'll bring you back. Alright, I got my meat mashed out as best I could. So I'm going to kind of put little divots in it. Hopefully it'll keep it not all just growing in the middle as it bakes. Just kind of mash it like this. Alright, before I touch anything else, I'm going to wash my hands real good and then I'll be back. I said I was going to add some salt and pepper, but I decided to add some of this what's this here sauce. I'll sprinkle some on there. Sprinkle some salt, which I use kosher salt when cooking, and some pepper. Now I'm going to be adding some chopped onion to this at the next step, so I'm not worried about adding onion powder or anything like that. Now I'm going to put this in my preheated 350 degree oven for around 20-25 minutes or until it's done. Alright, as soon as I put my ground beef in the oven, I turn my oven up to 375 degrees. And we're going to leave it like that. Uh, halfway through cooking, I did drain uh, most of the grease and the juice and all that came off of that so it could cook better and I knew it would shrink. I'm going to take that out, get rid of this foil, put some clean foil on there, and then I'll bring you back. Alright, be careful putting clean foil back in your pan because your pan will be hot. I split my rolls in half, carefully take my ground beef, lay it on top. I've chopped up some onion. And you can really put whatever that you like on here. I'm going to leave this section without onion. I'm going to put just a little bit because I don't want that much onion on mine. Now, Richard doesn't want cheese on his. But I want cheese on mine. You can put cheese all over the top of it. I'm just going to put some in this little corner. That will be mine. Top of my buns are falling apart. That's all right. We'll just piece them back together. Now, I took a little bit of butter, melted it. I added some parsley. 
because it'd be pretty. And just a little bit of garlic powder. Thought that would be interesting. Just gonna brush the tops with some of that. And my oven is still preheated to 375 degrees. We're gonna put this back in the oven. Let it go about another 15 or 20 minutes. And then it should be ready. All right, back in the oven it goes, 375 degrees, and I'll bring you back when they're ready. I left mine in the oven at 375 for a little over 15 minutes, so I've just taken it out. I'm going to let it set for a few minutes till my french fries get done, then I'm going to take it out of the pan, and we'll cut them up, see what they taste like. All right, let's slice into these. This one's going to be mine. It has the cheese on it. Now I'm going to put some mustard on mine. So let me get my plate fixed and we'll take a bite. Okay, it's still a little hot, but I'm going to go ahead and take a bite. These are pretty good. And I will be making them again. The bread's good and toasty but soft in the middle so I really like them if you've ever tried these before let me know let me know if you do if you like this video please give me a thumbs up comment I love hearing from you and subscribe if you haven't already and I hope y'all enjoy bye y'all